Today was a very special day for the entire Rays organization. They were presented with their AL championship rings with their last names on the side of them. Kevin Kiermeyer, the longest tenured Ray, who that moment had to be pretty special for, described the ring best when he said, it's about as dazzling as the ring could get without it being a World Series championship ring. They played a five to six minute video on the Jumbotron of highlights of that 2020 postseason run to motivate them to get back and experience that again. And as KK mentioned, run better and get that other ring. Going to the mound for them is going to be Tyler Glass now sitting right top of the zone. And a cut to miss right up there, 98. And a swing and a miss. And I'll tell you, that is not fair to drop that curveball, the change of speed, and the drop. And a swing and a miss. He comes right back. Dunning wasting no time, and that's kind of fitting. That's how he went about it last time. And he gets a swing and a miss. So Susugo strikes out. One two pitch to the Texas catcher. And a swing and a miss at the pitch in the dirt. White started 0 for 17. This Texas club. He has great speed. Lines it in the center, and that ball's going to be caught. Sinking line drive. Phillips was playing in a bit and made a nice grab on that one. You were concerned about how quickly it was sinking, but he got there in time. There is strike three again, and this time he got him. He a down looking second strikeout. And he gets strike three called. Sends Adamas packing the inning is done and the Rays leave another man. And a swing and a miss ball bounding out toward the mound. Mejia fires to first after the pickup. And this one right by him. 98 again. And he's not even trying to be fancy with it. And that is strike three call. Strikes out the side for the second time through. That's seven strikeouts. One two and got him swinging. I mean, talk about an explosion onto the scene. He swings and misses and strikes out here and Mike Dunning cruising along nicely so far. That's the game plan against Glass now if they can get a base runner because yeah. Glass now has shown you know at times he has struggled with the base runs. And that is strike three call dropped a breaking ball in there on him. But now a man in scoring position. And this one lined a second great catch out there as that one was appeared to be ticketed to right field. Solak showing some hops. A very nice right. there from Nick Solak. That ball was smoked off the bat of Joey Wendell. Nick Solak letting the boys know, yeah, I got some ups too. The preparation is so important to be in a position to make these plays, not just where the Rangers have players lined up, but right before that pitch, you saw Nick Solak kind of do that infielder jump and he's ready to go. Now a little delay on the start and he is out. Well White cut down and the Rays retire Texas here in the fifth. Last now ahead of him two strikes and takes care of him right there. He did go on the appeal and a cut and a miss right back with the hard stuff at 97. Nine strikeouts against Boston, 11 tonight so far against Texas. And there's a wave and a miss, and he strikes out the side. And he has 13 tonight against Texas. He takes care of Nate Lowe. It's going to be that one mistake, and who's going to make it? Well, let's see if he can make one to Adamas here. Well, he swings, and it's a high fly ball back into left. That's got carry and is gone. Home run for Adamas. Willie Adamas makes it one nothing with his second home run of the year. And how about that? Well, Adamas unloads this one. We talked about that swing plane a little bit. Yeah. And he launched that one. Just enough of it going right after that pitch down and out over. There is that high finish uppercut swing. And a swing and a miss. He went right back to that fastball 96. 
throws it by him, and that's strikeout number 14. Well, didn't really hide the intent of what he was trying to do through this at bat, and he just continued to pour that fastball up there, top of the zone or just above. Well, Kevin Cash on his way to the mound with two outs here in the eighth inning, and Tyler Glass now has had a great night. He wants to have a little conversation with Kevin Cash here. I love it. I love it. I, hey, listen, I wouldn't want to come out either. Yep. Well, it's been a great night for Tyler Glass now. He gets a great hand and tough to come out of this game. Now the Rays will make a pitching change. On to the ninth we go with Diego Castillo on the hill. Tavares goes and stops a swing and a miss. And that is out number one. Well, you got to believe, too, that Tavares is trying to time up Diego Castillo, and he's going to go at some point and able to take it just off the plate, right off the edge of the bat to pick up that first out. And a swing and a miss. He gets the strikeout right there. He had a lot of dip on that one. Well, it was a lot of sliders that Dahl kept fouling off and now he goes with the power sinker 95 and look at that thing take That's what off. I mean I just yeah I, I don't know if I've ever seen one that dramatic and that's going to bring Nate Lowe to the plate the former Ray who got off to a very hot start this year has cooled a bit since then is 0 for 3 tonight and so of course it would come down to this here we go on the 0-2 to Lowe and he got him looking. Strike three call. The game is over and the Rays win it one to nothing. Castillo strikes out the side, gets a call third strike to end it after giving up the base hit and a two out walk. And the Rays are winners one to nothing.